Okay. This is a new video. Uh, anyway, I bought this guitar because I need a break from working on the car, guitar. Um, from the working on the car. And uh, first, let me see if I can show this. The hard part is memorizing. You know what every fret is. You know these are frets in between, and then every string. So I, I had put these on. I made them myself, stuck them on there. If you can see that, so I can zoom in. See if it'll focus. Anyway, I had those on every one of these, but then I realized. You know, and they sell these on, on Amazon, too. But then I realized, that's no good. You can only see them if you're... Because once you turn the guitar... Let me just take it off the stand. Once you turn the guitar the way you should be holding it, you can't see them. So, <coughs> I put these labels on the side. See if I can zoom in. So, that's the way you should, I'll just try to reach around with my fingers. This is the way you should be looking at it, you know, kind of like that. So, no, so for instance, that's the uh, fifth fret. And it's just coated, so it just works up from the bottom. So now I can, uh, let me see if I can put it on my lap and hold it. That's what it looks like. Like, zoom in far enough. Or, so now this is the way you should hold the guitar. And you can't see it, but I can. Anyway, free. Uh, and it works good. So it's just a guitar, just a practice guitar. I don't really care what it looks like. It's a Fender Squire. Came with a came with an amp. Cheapo amp. But uh yeah, again. It's just me uh trying something new. See if I can focus in one more time. Oh, let's just try. So you get the idea. Well, I also, right at the top, I put the order of the strings. You know, there's so many things you got to learn when you first start playing. You got to learn, you got to use your right hand, your left hand. You got to memorize where each fret is, where each string is, where each note is. It's pretty daunting. So you gotta figure out some way to work. And then I got this thing here. Watch, I'll turn it on. For tuning the guitar. So I'm gonna hit the G string, I mean the E string. Oops. Hit the next string. I don't know if you can hear it. I mean, it works really good. I'm just reaching way over. One more time. Here's the E string. Anyway, this thing's called a snark or something like that. Shark or snark. It's worth it. And, it, and also, you can set it for hertz. You can hear the frequency of the different uh, strings because, you know, each position, you know, there's a lot of different C's on here. So these little visual aids, they do help. I just thought I'd share it. Gotta have one of these. In my opinion, this thing is the greatest thing I could come up with after a couple of weeks. Playing around with it. Just makes it so much easier. 
So now, so now I don't have to look at the front. I can hold it on the side like I should be. So all it is is a computer and printed it and scotch tape. And I had these on with, these other ones on with scotch tape and they came right off. The other trick is, you know, my, I got big hands. So putting these on is not that easy. So I, if you just use a uh, tweezers to just kind of hold it. Anyway, that's it.